What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 182 of Room Tour Project, the series where you show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. And this episode is the monthly clean and minimal edition, always a fan favorite. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And let's kick it off, 182. First is an all black and white setup with the ultra wide monitor to tie it all together from Mr. Vase. Even down to all the peripherals and the prints on the wall, everything here is matching to that aesthetic. And I like the prints here, they look really nice. Some nice grayscale mountains and some words of motivation. For his display, it is an LG 34UC79GB, practically the whole alphabet there, with an RGB light strip behind the desk to give the monitor a little bit more, you know, separation from the wall either in like a light blue color or a white LED color. Always tough to tell because, you know, RGB light strips can't really replicate white that well. Either way, down to his peripherals, we have the Razer Ornata keyboard with the 2013 Razer Death Adder mouse. This is their Counter-Strike edition. And for audio, his speakers are the Logitech Z506 with the Audio-Technica M50X mounted on the front of his PC using the NZXT puck. And speaking of which, this case here is the NZXT S340 Elite in white. And inside is an Intel i5 4690K CPU, the Antec Cooler H20 650 AIO, 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaws X RAM on a Gigabyte Z970X motherboard, and a Gigabyte GTX 970 G1 graphics card. So simplicity here, it's all laid out really nicely, the desk isn't too cluttered, everything has its own spot. So all in all, a good job on keeping it simple. Next is G-Man, and check out this room. This is looking real modern. I'm loving that all black wall with a slight texture to it. Really clean desk setup right across the room with the huge Nanoleaf Aura light panels at nighttime. You flick it all on, the setup glows and comes to life. This is a dope room. So checking out his gear, the monitor at his desk setup is the newer Acer X34P, mounted on a bracket arm sitting off to the left side there of the desk. And with that all white actual desktop, the monitor gives a nice like subtle glow to it from the wallpaper. I think that looks pretty cool. But a super organized and clean desk down to his peripheral so the lights on so we could see. Uh, we have two peripherals from ASIO, the leather keyboard and their leather retro mouse. Yes, actually made from their grade leather, uh, whether it's real or not, I don't know. But uh, pretty interesting peripherals, I haven't seen these really before. But all wireless and that is literally it for the desktop. Then over on the left side on top of the cabinet, he has his PC. This is the Fractal Define R6 case and inside an Intel i7 8700K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X62 AIO with 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an Asus Prime Z370A motherboard and an EVGA GTX 1070 Superclock graphics card. So just a very modern looking room. I'm a big fan of the way it all comes together. And you can't get much more clean and minimal than having just two things on your desktop. And uh, that's it. Just super clean all across the board. Next up is Chandler with this single display that has a marble wallpaper that actually complements a wooden desktop really nicely. I think it's the white in the peripherals and the white of his PC and uh, the contrast here is really pleasant. Probably thinking to yourself, Frank, all right, shut up. It's just a wallpaper, but I've said it probably every other episode, a wallpaper can make or break a setup. So for his monitor, it is a 24 inch Dell gaming display. It's the 1440p, 144 Hertz ones. Got a little plant and stuff off to the left side of the desk to add some green. And then for the rest of his peripherals, his keyboard is the wireless and pro two with the glorious model O mouse in white on a glorious extended mouse pad. And for audio in the back, his speakers Logitech Z5500 with the HyperX quadcast microphone. This is a solid peripheral setup. Over to the PC on the right side, we have the Cooler Master SL600M case, really clean looking as well. Inside here is an Intel i7-8700K CPU with the NZXT H100i V2 AIO, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM on the Asus Prime Z370A motherboard, and an RTX 2080 Ti from Gigabyte. Vertically mounted, some white braided cables, helping it all fit into the aesthetic. Then for a bit of a wider shot, you could see the cable management here on point, and uh, everything there is just funneled right down the center with the two outlets 
GG all around. So Chandler, good stuff, my man. I'm, I don't really understand the, the photo of the cows above this setup, but that's a different story for a different day. Maybe you're a farmer, maybe you like some milk. We don't gotta get into it now. All that matters is you got a clean and minimal setup. That's really refreshing to see. Speaking of refreshing, if you were looked that up in the dictionary, you would see this setup from Zykologic. This is just all across the board, super clean. And I love the natural wooden everything here, the desk. You can see it's actually built into the bunk bed. So like it's underneath, gonna free up a lot of space in the room and it just looks gorgeous. That that stain you have, that high gloss on it, looks really nice. So for his display, he's using a TV, actually. It's a Samsung G503, it's a 32-inch model. Interesting choice. I feel like, though, an upgrade to a monitor, uh, you know, in 2019 would be a worthy addition for you because the pixel density is gonna be greatly improved, as well as, like, the refresh rates and stuff. Uh, but it still, you know, visually fits in here. For the audio, in the back are his JBL Jumbo wireless speakers. And down to the rest of his peripherals, we have the Ajaz AK33 keyboard with the Combatterwing CW80 mouse looking like sort of like a Mad Cats kind of replica with all white peripherals on an extended mouse pad. Then over to the right side of the PC, it's the Techware Nexus C case in white with a Ryzen 5 1600 CPU on Gigabyte A320M DS2 motherboard with 16 gigs of Trident Z RAM and the Inno 3D iChill GTX 1060 graphics card. iChill, man. I feel like if I had to ever start a company back in the day, we're talking like mid-2000s, I would have named it iChill. So how could you not like this one? I just think the originality of having this built in under the bunk beds is just perfectly fitting to this here. You got the, the matching wallpaper to the plant, a nice pop of green here, and again, just love the natural wood. Uh, looks great. And then rounding it out is Tech Talks with the simple setup off to the corner of the room looking like a primarily black setup with the frosted glass and uh, some accents in white with the chair, the wallpaper, and the prints above the wall. So for this display, it's a Dell 23.6 inch model. He said this is more of a budget setup and it is true that going with a 23.6 inch versus a 4 24 inch does save you money. Little life hack there for those trying to upgrade monitors. And you see that famous Ikea plant, little book, a pen holder, still a pretty minimal desktop. Down to the peripherals, we have the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 keyboard, going along with the Razer Death Adder Elite mouse on a HyperX mouse pad. And for audio, going with the HyperX Cloud 2 headset, which, by the way guys, tomorrow is Amazon Prime Day, and you're probably gonna find these on sale. Still a killer headset for the price, even today. Then over to the PC, this is the Cooler Master H500 case, inside the Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, the Cooler Master ML 240R RGB AIO, 16 gigs of, that's not 16, I'm reading it off, but in one photo he had 16 gigs. Here we have probably more than that with the four sticks. So let's just say 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM on an Asus ROG Strix B450F motherboard with the EVGA GTX 1050 graphics card. So again, good stuff from Tech Talks, organized desk space, a small section in the part of the room there in the corner with Lots of minimalist vibes going on. And even though we said this could be more on the budget side, I was thinking of putting this in the budget edition, uh, but I think this is more, you know, on the minimal side. So it fits into both. In this episode of Room Tour Project, sponsored by Corsair and Elgato with the brand new Stream Deck XL, bringing 32 fully customizable LCD screens all to your fingertips for pretty much endless capabilities. If you're photo editing, video editing, gaming, streaming, have these customizable macros and buttons right at arm's reach is not only awesome, but it will completely perfect your workflow. Endless customization, endless possibilities. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 182 of Room Tour Project, the clean and minimal edition. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered by any future episode of Room Tour Project. Check the description down below for it all. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed episode 182. Have a good day.